Hi there, this is Eric again, and today I'm giving a quick review on the LEGO City Cargo Train. This is set number 60052. It's 887 pieces and uh, comes with four minifigures and uh, four cars on this train. There is, of course, the, uh, the locomotive, uh, three other cars, including two flatbeds and a cattle car. It comes with a truck. It comes with a bunch of track pieces. It comes with a loading dock or, a, you know, kind of a, a crane station. Um, and it is probably the best value, if you ask me, uh, as far as Lego sets go, uh, period. You have great stuff to build. You have action. You have motor functions. Uh, you have minifigures and lots and lots of playability. So uh, I'm really excited to share this set with you today. Uh, here we've got the train going around in a, in a circle. Uh, the set, by the way, is about 5 feet long and about 28 inches across. And I've got it set up in a, in a unique configuration with an oval with a breakout on the, uh, on the inside. And there it goes on the inside track. It was a quick, quick cutaway. Um, let's talk about the locomotive for a little bit. It's a beautiful blue color, if you ask me. Um, it's got the drive wheels in the back, and uh, uh, there's room for a minifigure inside. Uh, there's a room for power functions inside. It's um, uh, a great little unit, and it actually looks like a locomotive. It looks like a modern-day uh, diesel pusher. Um, inside, of course, here you can see uh, where the minifigure is. Uh, the doors open up on both sides as well as the top. And uh, the minifigure has got a little chair to sit on. Um, I'll go over the minifigures a little bit later in the, in the video. But uh, in this case, you know, he sits right back in his little chair there. And uh, he clicks into place, of course. There's actually a seat for him. The top folds down, the doors close, and he's all set to drive this train. Uh, some of the other things I really, really like about this train, uh, this locomotive, excuse me, this engine. Um, actually, before I get to that, let me talk about the... Uh, the uh, remote control. Uh, this remote control can control up to eight uh, power functions at a time. Uh, there's a selector in the middle for four channels and then two dials. Um, and in this case, it operates the train by a um, by a button there that controls the uh, the power on off for the uh, for the power functions. I'll open the side up here so you can take a look at what it looks like. Uh, you can see the big battery box here, and that's the IR receiver. And then underneath here, that's actually a drive motor for the wheels, and it's all wired together. And this panel, while it comes off quickly, is 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 not designed to come on and off. I mean, it, it does, of course, because it's Lego. But uh, uh, you press this little button here on top, and that turns the uh, the power on. There's if you look down from the top, um, I'm not going to show you, but look down from the top. There's a little green LED that comes on. Uh, so the other things I like, of course. The yellow markings along the side, and of course, um, the window here is pretty cool. Um, behind this panel here uh, is all the power functions, and uh, so that's the of course you have the remote control which controls the whole train. Uh, turn the dial and aim it toward the IR receiver that's in the back of the locomotive. Uh, I'll first turn it on, of course, um, and uh, the train starts to roll forward. And it has got several speeds to roll forward and backwards. Um, but I just want to roll it a little bit here so that I can show you the next car. Oh, let's go backwards. Sometimes it's tricky to control. And, uh, oops, the back end just came off. We'll go connect it and, uh, and see what we can do here. It can be a little bit tricky to control uh, the train, but um, with a little bit of practice, it's not too bad. The magnets could be a little bit more powerful, I think, uh, in holding this whole thing together. The little class magnets. There we go. And there's the locomotive. We'll roll it forward, and we will show the the um, flatbed car. And there's the flatbed car. It has on it a uh, a uh, forklift. It has a little wheelbarrow, and it has a little octan uh, barrel. I really like the forklift. It comes right off here, and um, you can see that the levers twist, and that the cab opens and closes, and um, uh, you can go up and down with the with the tines on the fork to raise and lower things with a little spring-loaded rubber band, not spring rubber band. Um, in this set, everything is palletized, so you have a wheelbarrow that's attached to a little pallet by two jumping studs, um, four, two by two jumpers, um, and they fit onto one by two jumpers there, and as well as on the truck. And I'll review that in a second. And the wheelbarrow just sticks right in there, and then also you have this. 
uh, octan oil barrel attached much the same way onto the pallets. Uh, the pallets are little uh, four by eight um, plates. And the build on this is kind of cool if you haven't done a build of a barrel before, a Lego barrel, it's pretty cool. It just snaps right on there. Um, the forklift, of course, can maneuver and just go right underneath the pallet and pick it up and uh, lower it back onto the flatbed car there um, and then snap it into place, of course. And you can do that also with the other pieces. Um, and then, of course, there's room. You can mix and match things around. You don't have to put everything back in the same place because it's all, all modular and all palletized. Um, moving on to the next car, we have a... Um, whoops. We have a... Um, uh, electrical cable car, for lack of a better word. You have two big spools of cable here, one with a chain on it and one without a chain on it, also on these same pallets, so they can be, uh, they can be uh, anywhere. Um, it's kind of fun to build these spools if you've never done it. They look really good, um, but uh, uh, they're not very, very useful. Um, you have to imagine that there's a big spool of cable on there to wire your, your Lego buildings in, in town with. Um, and then they've got little gates, it looks like, to uh, little fence pieces to hold everything in place. Um, not super stable, but uh, it gets the job done. Uh, one of my favorite cars, though, oh, you can also um, use the uh, forklift to up, raise and lower them. But one of my favorite cars here is this little cattle car. Um, it has a longhorn bull in it and some other things. Uh, basic fence pieces um, to put them down, and the middle uh, thing becomes a ladder. There's a little red bucket. A bull with long horns, uh, you know, yay if you live in Texas, some hay bale type pieces, a little watering trough and some other, other things in there. Um, and of course the, the long horn is just absolutely adorable, my favorite. His head goes up and forward and um, um, he's taking a little train ride. And he snaps right back into place. And you put the feed bucket back in there and raise the gate, uh, close the little ladder up, and, uh, and you're off. Um, and that's it for the cars on the train. Uh, let's move that out of the way here and uh, let's talk about the truck. The truck um, that comes with this set is a standard six stud wide truck. It's got a nice new sloped nose. There's a minifigure inside. Um, it's designed to accept the pallets in the back with the same uh, jumper stud arrangements. and. Um, of course, as in most LEGO cars, the roof lifts off and it gives you access to the minifigure uh, who sits in there. There's room for two, but it's a very, very snug fit, especially when you have the cup uh, in there as well. Um, the requisite cup that comes, it seems like, in all trucks. Um, there's a little tiny, tiny dashboard with some grill pieces and, of course, the steering wheel uh, and then jumper studs in the back. Um, it's a cool little design, um, not too high off the ground. It looks kind of like it's a tough little work truck. Um, flatbed truck and uh, is great for this set because you can take off all the pallets and put it onto this one or uh, or, or not um, and uh, I really really like that about this uh, about this set there's tons and stuff to stuff to play with um, tons and tons of stuff to play with period uh, let's talk about the uh, the crane uh, apparatus the train the way the tracks are designed is to go through the crane itself and um, there's a gantry mechanism um, with, a, with slides on the very top and a crane that you can twist uh, and then there's a little spool of, of thread or of cable. Um, you hook the hook onto the chain uh, and um, let's get a little shot there to hook it on the chain and tighten it up and it lifts the cable spools right off of the pallets. And then you can slide it over and it rolls back and forth. Um, it's a little bit flimsy but with careful hands, uh, it, it's not too difficult. Um, but there's lots of clearance in there. You can put it on the truck, and there's a little stand for things as well, and you can slide it back. Uh, you can raise and lower it. Um, it's a cool little thing, and you can play with it for a long, long time. The set also comes with a couple of hooks. If you look in the wheelbarrow up ahead here uh, on the flatbed car, there's a hook that you can attach to different things, like the forklift or the wheelbarrow, and, and lift up more things. But just by putting the... Uh, the spool back in place, you lower it down, and uh, with practice you can you can probably do this very, very easily. But then the hook comes off the chain, and um, you're on to the next piece of equipment. Let me show you how it works on the, uh, on the wheelbarrow. Um, inside the wheelbarrow there's some studs, and there's a little tiny 
uh, circle piece that, that uh, clips onto it. And when you do that, you can lift out the wheelbarrow uh, and do it the same way. You can lift it either attached to the, uh, to the pallet or not attached to the pallet. In this case, I've got it attached to the pallet because I want to show you um, that you can slide it over and put it onto a little stand. You can't quite see the stand from this camera angle, but there's a little stand there um, that's elevated and you, you can set it on there to get things out of the way. Um, there's a lot of room between the, um, the gantry and the, um, and the, um, lots of room for the truck to come in there. Um, and you can offload things from the train. Oops, a little Lego guy fell down. Help, help. Um, as my city grows, I'm going to have a whole lot more studs, so we'll just set him down here. It's, it's nice and easy. Set the other guy next to him. But there's lots of room uh, to onload and offload things from the train onto the truck or onto the platform and, uh, and just build the, uh, the city as the train comes in with, with, uh, with lots and lots of goods. Um, the rail mechanism um, slides, the, the crane mechanism slides on a, on a set of rails that are also train rails. And um, oh, here comes the locomotive again in and pushes those cars right out of the way with no remorse. Um, the crane mechanism slides on a set of train rails that are very similar to the uh, old style train tracks. They're long pieces that are straight and um, have some grooves on them. But uh, uh, overall, it's a great design and lots and lots to play with. I really love the remote control feature of this thing. Um, uh, my little kid's got the remote control, and that's why you see the train coming in and out of the picture all the time. I'm not controlling it. He is, uh, which is kind of fun. Um, so two people can play with the set very easily. One does the, uh, the mechanicals on it, and one uh, controls the, uh, the, uh, the train and such. There's a top look at the uh, crane, the little loading platform there of the station house. Um, uh, here's more detail on the, on the mechanisms. And um, you can just see the whole whole set right there. Uh, fantastic build. Oh, inside, there's a little minifigure and a computer console and another cup. And uh, you can control the... Supposedly, he's controlling the crane by computer from that little console. Has a headset on to listen to what other people are saying. Or maybe he's just listening to some music and, and rocking out. Uh, you never know for sure. But uh, he's getting the job done, which is important. And there's a little platform with the wheelbarrow on it. Also comes with a little hand truck and a little box. Um, let's talk about the minifigures for a second. This set comes with four minifigures. Um, one of them is a lady on the very end there, and uh, which is which is fantastic. Let's take a look at the backs of them. Um, you can see all the detail: the red and the green, the blues, dark blue and light blue. And then these two have different colored pants, but the same tunic, the same uh, uh, looks like jacket or vest, orange safety vest on top. And they all either have hats or hard hats on. Um, but this set comes with four minifigures. It's, it's got everything you need. Um, all in all, oh, here comes the forklift um, driving down the little platform. There's room for it to maneuver in here and pick up things and lower things. Um, what I really wanted to show here is, is the, um, you can actually lift the forklift with the crane. Um, take off the little uh, safety lamp. And inside the wheelbarrow is a little round piece with a hook on it. And that fits right on top of the forklift. And then you move the crane around, lower it into position, attach it onto the hook, which has been attached to the forklift. And uh, the powerful crane will lift the forklift right up in the air and set it onto the flatbed truck of the uh, flatbed car of the locomotive of the train. Uh, and it's off to the next. Uh, off to the next station where it's going to load up more gear to bring to your town so you can build your town out. Uh, for my regular listeners and, and viewers here, this is actually the beginning of my, of my city set. I've got a lot of things to add to it, um, and I'll be using the train, integrating the train as, as a major piece of, of building my city. Uh, I love how the trains operate and work, and they're in, integral to, to my design. And uh, I want to thank you for watching, and please subscribe and like my video.